talk about HRV, your heart rate variability. So what heart rate variability is, is the interval between your heartbeats. What I use this for when I get clients to collect this data is determine whether they are becoming too stressed or not. Now, unfortunately, the HRV doesn't tell you uh, exactly where your stress is coming from, but it's a good indicator to start looking. So I'll use like this case study here of a client to kind of give you some insight on how I use HRV and what you know the readings help me determine what to do next. So if we go back up into April here, we're gonna look going into attention phase. So this is gonna be higher volume. So coming in, it's got a decently high HRV, but you'll notice that it tends to drop uh, after the training day. So you could say that's because of the volume essentially. So these days will be less volume, right? Coming out of the weekend, getting a little bit higher HRV, right? But this one's kind of all over the place. So you gotta take into account like a lot of like lifestyle factors could be playing a role. Um, but ultimately, Food is high, increase in food here, that's gonna help us bring up that HRV a little more. And then now you can see that holding a steadily high HRV. If you look here, we switch into a more metabolically demanding phase. And you know, we're starting off with a decently good HRV, you know, reads a high number here, but then you, as you can see, there's a big drop, right? And a consistent drop. So this is where, decided that, okay, obviously this is too much metabolic volume. So started a different program, adjusting the volume with lower volume, which has allowed this HRV to come back up. Kind of still up and down, so we adjust the volume even more. Now you can see that we're kind of holding a more steady one. Here was the big adjustment in volume. Now you can see a higher HRV. So that this HRV helped me determine, not to mention assessing with the client that they are having, you know, emotional issues, uh, stuff like that. You can see their energy levels, their sleep, all that kind of stuff, right? It's taken into account. So you put all the data together and this is what enables me to decide, okay, what needs to change. Now, keep in mind, it, while training volume can play a big role and in kind of most cases, it probably is your training, you have to take lifestyle factors in as well. So if you look on these days here, I believe it was this week, not only are we getting a contribute to too much volume, which has been an issue in the past, but her son was home this week. I believe it was this week. So you have to take, I believe these two weeks actually. So you have to take that into account, right? You also look at, coming out of the weekend. So here's Saturday. Most times you can see coming out of the weekend, the HRV has dropped 105 to 59. 80, that one stayed relatively good, but 183. Son isn't in daycare, right? Beautiful human being, but he can be quite a handful. So these are things to take into account of what could be changing that HRV to understand that it could be more than just training volume. Um, but usually I start with that training volume. And then once we adjust that, we see how you respond. Now we implemented a few interventions when we started to record the high one, you know, more stress management, son was back in daycare. Uh, a few factors were involved, but ultimately at the end, pulling up some higher HRV numbers. And what most people are unaware of is your heart rate variability can be shall I say, linked to your metabolic rate. So the lower your heart rate variability, the less fat burning will occur. Is see, Everyone's a fan of that. So by having a higher HRV, that enables your metabolism to run at a higher rate, just simply because lower stress means everything's gonna function better, thyroid will work better, all these markers will be improved, okay? So monitoring your HRV is a very, very valuable tool. Um, so you can see where you're at with all these kind of things and you can make your decisions from there with this data collection.